Hello everybody and welcome to episode 25 of Pokemon Dark Rising 2. In the last episode we took down Team Plasma's Getsis and his Genesect that he stole from V who died along with his son and daughter. But we have Florina and Dre here that, who are keeping an eye on Light and there's V's dead body that no one has cared to clean up. But in this episode we're going to be taking on the final boss of the uh, this beta and that is Giovanni. So. Hopefully we can take him down. I don't know. I did save already, so hopefully we can. I have no idea if how challenging he will be, but we're going to be taking on these grunts first, and I will just super speed through them, and I'll go with a magnitude. There we go. All right. Easy enough. And it has paint split, but that's all right. And I'll go for body slam and magnitude. Should be good and can't escape which is fine and there we go down goes muck and they love paint splitting for some reason but hopefully we can take them down soon this is a pretty long battle actually for just a normal grunt but they have a bunch of pokemon so good for them i guess for getting so many and garboder goes down almost took down radicate there we go so I am going to actually heal up at the stage at the girl who I don't remember which one it was, but it's one of our rivals that heals us up. So I think it's on the floor below us. So I'll be right back. All right, so it was actually uh, two floors below us the, to heal up, but I'll probably do it after this battle too. And I will switch in Jesse for Swoobat and go for a Shadow Ball. And it's gonna roost, which is fine because we're slowly taking it out. I did use Endeavor, which is okay. I'll switch out actually to Chain Chomp and go for an Earthquake. Easy enough. Jesse gained a level and we took down Muck too, so there we go. I'll just heal up here because I do have a few super potions and whatever, whatnot. And I guess I don't have anything less than a Hyper Potion, so I'll just heal Chain Chomp 2. I'm guessing we're heading into our final battle right here, so I'm going to save, actually. And there's a Zinc. I think you can get all the vitamins if you really want them, but probably most of your Pokemon don't even need them at this point. But I actually, I will, I'll give uh, my Zinc, my Carbos, and Iron and Calcium to Jesse since... Uh, we haven't had him or her, him for that long. So I'll save and then we'll get ready to battle Giovanni. So I have no idea what to expect. I hope nothing too ridiculous because this could be a, a tough battle. You made it to the, uh, your way to the top floor. Impressive. For V, I swear I'll take you down. Mega Evolution, activate. Let's do this. Okay. So... Giovanni has the power of Mega Evolution, which isn't a good thing, so... Um, he would like to fight, and he's going to start with Mewtwo Y. That's not good. Alright, so I didn't think he would start with it, but hopefully we can take it down. I'm going to go for Leech Seed. Psychic might take us out, which would be really bad, but it will. So I might have to PP stall this thing, actually, but I'm going to see what he can do against Ash, who is a Dark-type. And I'm going to go for a Crunch. And he's going to have Aura Sphere, which isn't good either. So this might be like taking on Dark Lugia from Dark Rising 1. Hopefully not, but I'm, I think I'm going to try to stall him out of Psychics. But I'm just going to see if I can live a hit with Chain Chomp and go for a Swords Dance. He's going to go for Calm Mind. All right. So I definitely won't be able to live it after this. But hopefully I can. Who knows? Um, I'm trying to think of a strategy right now that I can use, but this psychic will probably take us out. Yeah, okay, so that's not good. And we'll go into Jesse. Might be able to take a hit. I'll go for Shadow Ball. And I forgot about Aura Sphere, so won't be able to live it. But. I think I'm going to start with uh, healing up. I think that's the way to go right now. 
I do have a Sacred Ash, which is good. And he's going to go for Aura Sphere, which is fine. Because uh, maybe I'll stall him out of Aura Spheres, and then I can bring in um, Ash. That's probably a better plan. So I will just heal up Ash again, and he's going to go for Aura Sphere. He's not going to quite take us out. So maybe I should have used Will-O-Wisp, but I'll put in Geezer too. And he's not going to attack me again. Interesting. I don't know why. But hopefully he tries recovering or something again. And he's almost going to take us out that time. So I wish I had more Hyper Potions for sure. But I'm going to go for a Will-O-Wisp now. And at least I have a ton of revives. But... Hopefully Aura Sphere doesn't take us out. It didn't take us out the last two times. We get off a Will-O-Wisp, which is good. Not that it will lower his attack. I just want to do some residual damage. And I'll go for a Flamethrower. He's going to go for a cover, interestingly enough. But, I don't know. I think, I mean, I'm going to try to set up at some point, but I don't know when that will be. But hopefully we can stall him out of everything, really. And I'm going to heal up Chain Chomp. And he's going to go for an Aura Sphere, finish this off. I don't know how many Aura Spheres there are, that you, you know, how many you can use, but hopefully not too many. And he's going to go for a Recover, so that's fine, I can get my Crunch off. And I don't remember how many cr uh, Recovers you can have in first gen either, so... Hopefully it's not too many. But Crunch is doing a lot. Wow, I didn't expect that at all. And I don't think Giovanni did either, so that's a good thing. He's going to go for Calm Mind, and we'll actually take him out right here. Wow. Alright, so that's awesome. I did not think that would be that easy, but there you go. Uh, I'd suggest probably training up more for this Mewtwo, because that's a tough thing to take out. But... We took, we got some experience for everybody. He's going to go for Gliscor, who I will use Geezer for, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll try to Scald it and lower its attack. It's at level 66, which isn't good. He's going to go for Swords Dance. Hope I don't white out after taking out his Mewtwo. That would be pretty sad. But hopefully we can do a good chunk there. All right, we did about half. He's going to have his lefties, which is fine. And if he doesn't attack me, then I can take him out. Night Slash might not take us out. Yeah, no. If he had gone for Earthquake, he would have easily taken us out, but uh, I'm glad he didn't. So, there you go. There's two down and four to go. He's probably just going to have regular ground-type Pokemon. Yep. And I'm going to send out Ash and just heal up Geezer because he's probably going to be very important for the rest of the battle. And I don't think this Rhyperior can really set up or anything. Not that I know of. So he's going to go for Stone Edge. Fine. And actually didn't take us out, so I'm just going to go for a high jump kick. And he outspeeds. Alright, interesting. I hope he doesn't outspeed Geezer, but he probably will. And I'll go for Scald. And we do outspeed him, so I guess Scrafty is really slow. Didn't realize that. But, or Geezer is super fast, which I'm pretty sure is not true. He's going to go for a sword stance, alright, so. Just like Dark Rising 1, there are Pokemon like Conkeldur, who sword stance in this game that can't actually sword stance. It's pretty scary when you see it and you're not expecting it. But, uh, for this Rhyperior, it's not a really big deal. I'm pretty sure Rhyperior can't sword stance. And I know Conkeldur can't, so... There you go. And hopefully we get the burn or the max damage and take this thing out in one hit. And there we go. So, I guess we just got minimum damage on the first try. And there we go. So next up is Nidoqueen, which I'm going to actually take out with Chain Chomp. Since, uh, I guess they're both super effective hits, but might as well just take it out with... My better Pokemon. I'll Sword Stance first, just in case. I don't think he can really do too much to us. Mega Horn isn't super effective, so yeah, about a third, maybe a quarter. So Earthquake will easily, well, I, 
it should take it out, I think. I don't know how bulky Nido Queen is, but I kind of want to use one for my X and Y Wi-Fi team. Uh, especially since this has sheer force. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. I don't like using, like, typical OU Pokemon. I like using, like, lower on the totem pole OU Pokemon. But, I don't know if Nido Queen and King are OU or UU. I guess there really aren't official lists yet. But, there you go, we took out Nido King as well. Next up is Honchkrow. I guess I'll just stay in. I guess that's something Geezer could have taken out as well, so... I don't know, this was pretty much... Uh, we needed Geezer for this battle, definitely, for Rhyperior. And, there we go, we took out Honchkrow. What a pain of pain taking out with the Chain Chomp, so... There you go, we defeated the ultimate boss of Team Omega. Well, I guess we haven't faced Dargus yet, but... Um, the only hu the best human boss. I made a promise to these children, and now I can't keep it. All because of you. That negativity, Dargus will love it. Dargus, take my life, now. What? Alright. Oh, I guess he's dead, maybe? I don't know. But, young man, thank goodness for coming here when you did. The life of every Pokemon in existence was in danger. What was going on in here? Before I explain, take this with you, please. We get the fragment case. Alright. Giovanni was going to destroy Xerneas, which would put an end to all Pokemon life in this world. Bring that case to, uh, Alencia? I don't know. She'll tell you how much, uh, she'll tell you much more. Alencia, uh, who my partner spoke of, lives in Alfheim City. She can tell you about that case. Alright. Great. So, I don't know how we're going to get there, but... In the next episode, I will get out of here and uh, make our way to the ice cave, the ice cave or something, which I believe is the end of beta one. So, see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.